Um, as you know, I am a mixed media artist. I did make my very first piece. It was actually a weaving um, just days before my 50th birthday. So I'm, I'm a very late bloomer, had no idea that I was an artist. I was raised in the Detroit area and uh, the only kind of art that I was ever exposed to was fine art and going to the fine art museums. And I knew uh, at a very young age that I was no artist. And then in uh, high school, I took an art class and the art teacher just patted me on the head. So, uh, you know, maybe this is not your thing. <laughs> so um, then I met Rob. Rob and I have been together uh, coming up on 22 years. And he brought lowbrow art into my world. And I was not familiar with it. And I kind of snubbed my nose at it. And uh, the more I was around it and the more I was around those artists, I began to embrace the thinking out of the box kind of art. If that's art, I can do that. And so that is how my career started out. And it became very clear very quickly that uh, I was very prolific and I wanted to share my journey with others. And I was very green when I started teaching. And really, I was learning right along with the students. And I continue to do that. I continue to do that. I continue to uh, learn from my students as well as they learn from me. The community, the art community is just amazing. So it's been an interesting journey. I'm very, very grateful for, I call it my village. Um, I have over 500 videos on YouTube. Uh, and I call all those uh, subscribers, I've got over 30,000 subscribers and they call them my village because they support me and they leave comments and you know, it's just yummy. I get letters from people, you know, my mom was <clears throat> after this would be a letter. After my dad died, my mom uh, just took to bed, wouldn't even get out. She wouldn't go into her studio. I took the um, laptop in, had her watch a video and she's in her studio every morning now. And this is the healing of art. It just is the healing of art. And I have, uh, I just finished a book. Um, I'll be taking it to the publisher this weekend. And it talks about a little girl with painted hands and how she was different and how she hid her hands until she met someone else with painted hands. And the responsibility that we have to touch others with our painted hands so that they can have the courage to wave their hands proudly as well. This is what our project, I think some of you may have seen it. This, she is a doll that I made uh, from my drop cloth canvas that was on the floor. I definitely believe in using what you have. I don't purchase a lot of stuff. So the drop cloth was on the floor and it looked pretty yummy. And I thought, what the heck? We're, <laughs> we're gonna cut some of that up and make a doll.